All right, let's talk about drug antidotes for today. These are the name of the drugs and these are the names of the antidotes that are used. Now, what does an antidote mean? For example, we took any substance or any drug in excessive amount, more than the normal dosage, then we need something to counter effect, to reverse the effect of this drug. The substance that we take to counter effect, the effect of a drug is an antidote, is an antidote. So these have the opposite function of this drug. Let's talk about the first drug, which is acetaminophen. This is the, another name of paracetamol, that is the PCM, very commonly used amongst us. The antidote for this drug is acetylcysteine. You just need to remember these names. The second drug is digoxin. Now this drug is used in cases of, for example, heart failure, arterial fibrillation or arterial flutter or arrhythmias. Whenever heart is pumping like very rapidly. So in that case, if we have a high amount of digoxin in our body, we'll give digoxin immunofab to reduce the effect of digoxin. Third one is opioids. Now the function of opioids is, it is mainly a pain reliever. Like it has effects like morphine. So you need to remember these points, what an opioid is. And the antidote for opioid is naloxine or nalmaphene. Now the one that are marked in stars are very important. You need to remember the antidotes for these drugs. The fourth one is warfarin. Now you might have heard of these names, warfarin and heparin. These are anti anticoagulants. So antidote for warfarin is vitamin K and antidote for heparin is protamine sulfate. This is very, very important. You need to remember this for the rest of your lives. The sixth drug is lead. For example, a person is working in lead factories or anywhere where the lead concentration is high and there is high amount of lead in our blood, we need to give something to decrease the effect of lead. We'll give succimum. Seventh one is cyanide. Now, this is basically a poison. So if you have high amount of cyanide in your blood, you'll give methylene blue. This is also very important. So just remember the antidote name. The next one is insulin. For the antidote, it's the glucagon. This is very easy. You might have studied this in internal medicine. The ninth one is benzodiazepines. Now, what is the function of benzodiazepine? It is antipsychotic or anxiety relieving drug. So, in case of psychotic diseases, you give you uh, prescribe this drug. And if a person, for example, took this, then the normal dose of the drug, you'll give flumazenil. Flumazenil. So the antidote for benzodiazepine is flumazenil. The last one is anticholinergics. Now anticholinergic drugs work by inhibiting acetylcholine. This is the neurotransmitter that uh, this drug inhibits. And thus, it reduces the involuntary movements. For example, a person came to you with uh, profuse diarrhea. The person is having diarrhea which cannot be controlled. So you'll prescribe what? Anticholinergics. And it does, it will reduce the amount of involuntary contractions. It is given when there is some problem with GI, like there's involuntary movements in GI tract, or there are some involuntary bladder movements. And if the person took this in ex excess amount, you'll give physostigmine. This is also very, very important. Just remember these few antidotes. These were the main plus tens. Thank you.